Hello, and uh, welcome back to the final vlog uh, in this 90 day screenplay challenge. It's hard to believe it's over. It feels like just yesterday that I was starting. I figured uh, we uh, we started in a car and we should end in the car. Um, yeah, my hair has grown from the first vlog. I just like the other day I, I watched some of the, uh, the earlier vlogs and I was like, whoa, you know. <laughs> It's like, whoa. Um, so for this final vlog, we decided to do a Q&A and um, some of you were nice enough to send in some questions. So I'm going to answer them and hopefully I'll do it without rambling too much. Um, the first question is, how much time did I spend uh, actually writing the script versus rewriting or outlining? And uh, this this one was a the script. Obviously, was a little different than most because I, you know, was on a time constraint and um, didn't have as much time in the beginning to outline. Uh, so outlining really like on putting you know keep putting my fingers on the keyboard uh, it was probably like a week or two of outlining. But I had been thinking about the script for a year, probably. So uh, you could say outlining a year or you could say a week or two. Um, but that's usually the case. I'll think about something for a while before I actually start writing it. And uh, I think that helps with the outline process because I've already I've already um, figured out, oh, that will work. Maybe the character should uh, should be that instead. Maybe they should live there. Maybe that should happen. So I'm already thinking about these things in my head and I've already, I've kind of already um, change things around and develop things in my head before I've actually started outlining. And then uh, actual writing uh, would be 10 weeks, I guess. Two, two and a half months. Two weeks of outlining uh, or a year. And then uh, two weeks of rewriting about that. Uh, what was the hardest part of this challenge? And yeah, I think I kind of hinted at it in there, which was, I think, the timing of it for it being in the Thanksgiving, Christmas, and uh, trying to juggle everything. Uh, also, the vlogs have been difficult. As you can probably tell, I'm not much of a social person. Uh, I, I share my feelings uh, better through text. Uh, so me vocalizing things and talking to a camera and trying to like formulate thoughts as I, you know, just talk without thinking about it first. And uh, I, I, I just, I, I form better sentences <laughs> online and through writing than I do uh, voice, vocal. See, you see what I mean? So yeah, that was a hard part. These vlogs have been hard. Uh, and then also just trying to juggle everything with the timing and that kind of brings me to the next question, which was, could I have completed this challenge without uh, them, uh, without SoCreate paying my bills and, um, you know, setting this 90 day uh, time frame? And I don't think that I, I could have, especially with the holiday season with Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, if I was working a full time job and, and, you know, traveling and visiting family. I don't think I, I, I could have. Um, I still did. I it still did work. I had a part. I have a part-time job, uh, a freelance writer, and I have a long-term client. So I've been. I still do work for him. Um, but a full-time job, like working eight hours a day, uh, five hours, five days a week. <laughs> no, I. I don't. I. I didn't do that, and I. I don't believe that I could have finished this had I, had I, um, been forced to work 40 hours a week, um, you know, I, I guess, you know, if I had to, like, if there was a, you know, a gun to my head, sure, you know, but would it have been, would it have been as good? Probably not, uh, because it would have been, you know, rushed, you know, in the middle of the night or something, and, uh, you know, I've had a lot of a lot of time to read over things in the script and really think about the plot and kind of just spend time with it, even when I'm not writing necessarily, just 
free space in my head to think about the script and live in it. And it, I know, it might sound like kind of like LA, I don't know, hippie-ish, I don't know what, but it, it, it honestly helps. And if you're stressed worrying about bills and worrying about work, then uh, I don't, you know, it, it definitely impacts you negatively. So yeah, I, I think, I don't think I, I could have finished it in 90 days. And if I did, it wouldn't have been, I don't think it would have been as good as, uh, not saying it's great now, we'll see, but I think it, it would have suffered. Uh, so the next, next question, thoughts when I, when I won the, uh, sweep, sweepstakes, that's a hard word, sweepstakes. Uh, yes, thoughts I had when, when I won, I was obviously excited. Um, I ha I come from a quiet family, so I don't often show my excitement like a normal person would. Uh, so I don't know when they told me. I I don't know if they if they thought. Wow, I thought he'd be more excited about winning nine thousand dollars. You know, I I don't know if they were disappointed with my reaction. I tried to I tried to bring it out. You know, uh, my girlfriend's family uh, is big on Christmas, and they. They celebrate with lots of gifts. And when I was a kid, didn't have that. I was lucky to get like one toy and you know, maybe like a scratch off ticket in my stocking or something, but they they do a big. And uh, I remember the first year I was had like 10 gifts in front of me and they were all, they would open their presents and they'd be like, oh my God, it's exactly what I wanted. And I, I struggle with that, even if it is something I really want. And obviously I'm appreciative of it, but I just, it, it's a struggle for me to bring that out and show it. And I'm, I'm getting better at it, I think. I think these vlogs are actually helping, so maybe I'll continue them. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, ex what was the question? I was excited. I was excited. That's what I was feeling. I wasn't really nervous. I was excited to uh, share and um, talk to people. And, yeah, I was excited. So the that seemed genuine right i was being i don't know why i'm looking over i was being genuine i was really excited i know it comes across as like i have like sarcasm sometimes but i was really excited and i'm very grateful for the opportunity um plans do i have any plans to for the script after i release it am i one person asked if i was planning on producing it myself um no um uh, i would love to but i don't think i I have the expertise for that as far as like a big feature film or, you know, it's an indie, it's an indie type film, but still I don't, uh, I don't have the expertise to do that. I do plan on, um, uh, filming and, uh, writing like a short series on YouTube this year and just to get something out there and actually like have something to show people. Uh, so I do plan on doing that, but as far as this feature, I hope, I people want to help I hope someone comes along and they really like it and you know we'll see what happens I plan on entering it into competitions with the uh, money that I I got from so great some of the money um, so I'll enter in competitions I'll send it to the few connections that I do have uh, and then obviously I'll send it out to all of you and you know hopefully someone connects with it I think it's a fun script I had a lot of fun writing it and I would love to see it come to life so hopefully that happens it's always a long shot especially since I don't have you know anything produced yet uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens uh, next question I answered that uh, I answered that two more questions I think my motivation to keep writing <sighs> um, I think I think the fact that I'll never be satisfied in life until I, you know, see my words come to life and see, you know, something I, I worked hard on and wrote on like the big screen or a TV. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be satisfied until that happens. And, you know, also, I don't know if you should mix motivation and the fear of failure. I don't know if those things, those things should be like intertwined but that is also part of it you know a lot of people know that I want to be a screenwriter uh, people back home obviously since I moved to LA from Texas they know I want to be a screenwriter it's all I've talked about 
for the past few years uh people you know they'll back home they'll ask me hey how's it going anything's happened and uh, obviously you guys know i want to be a screenwriter and uh so i think the fear of like failure and and like you know 20 years goes by and nothing happened that would that would be you know hard to swallow but i don't i don't know if that should be mixed in with motivation i think motivation should come from a healthier place than that um i think I, I think you don't need a lot of motivation if if what you're working on is uh enjoyable to you uh you know i, I the first half of 2019 i really struggled i was in a bad headspace and then I, I started working on video rental and i just had so much fun writing it was like i was writing again for the first time and i, I fell in love with writing all over again basically and you know i think that's because i really liked what i was writing about and the style and yeah so i think i think if you really like what you're writing and you're having fun doing it i think the motivation just comes along with it and you're like i want to i want to get this done i want someone to snatch this up you know so yeah next question getting started which i you know again kind of goes in with that uh, if you're having trouble getting started I think you should look at what you're writing um, you know sometimes people will focus on what what's marketable what does the market want right now oh you know should I write a a uh, small budget horror film those are those are easiest to get made right maybe I should focus on that I've had that thought um, but you know that I don't have an idea in that that space that really excites me at the moment so why would I why would I force myself to write about it you know so focus on things that excite you and don't worry about marketing it or if, if people will want to watch it I mean your first script your second script your third script I mean that's not likely to get made anyway so just focus on what energizes you and what keeps you motivated to write so have fun with your script, have fun in life, uh, worry less. That's a big thing for me in 2020. I want to worry less. I worry too much. So yeah, just have fun with it. Write about something that keeps you entertained, something you would want to watch, something that makes you laugh, something that makes you cry, something you're personally connected with. And I think the motivation, and I don't think it'll be hard to get started then, I think you'll want to get started. Just find that idea and roll with it. And uh, yeah, I think that that ends the vlogs. It's a sad day. I actually, I really, I actually enjoyed doing these. And maybe I'll continue on my own channel if there's enough interest, or even if there's not, maybe it's a good way to uh, keep myself accountable, hold myself accountable, whatever works. I don't know. So yeah. Thank you all for um, following along. I hope you enjoy the script. Um, yeah, and thank you, obviously, to SoCreate for giving me this opportunity. It's been, it's been a blast. Bye.